Cheers. Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. I hope you've been enjoying lots of holiday Starbucks flavors and holiday shopping and holiday music because now is the time. I don't know, there's just something about Christmas. Well, okay, I'm acting like this is a secret, but it's not. It's totally a thing where, I don't know, I just think we all get to let our inner child out during Christmas. You know, like there's always the same old movies on TV and the same music around when you're shopping and uh, it's just nostalgic. I think most of you have seen my YSL beauty advent calendar video that I posted in November. However, today I wanted to actually review the products inside because that video was mostly like, here's what's in it. This one, I want to be an in-depth review. Um, not so much for the advent calendar because I know that that time is probably past for you to want to get one, although there's still time because these are real products that are in their beauty line. And so I just wanted to review them so that you know, are they worth it or not if you are going to go buy them. I am, however, going to exclude all of the perfumes because I did try to explain those in my advent unboxing and also my explanation of what things smell like is not necessarily going to help you. Also, side note, I just want to know, what is everyone's favorite holiday flavor? Do we like any of those? Because I personally don't. This is just a regular blonde latte. I always get the just blonde latte. And I'll usually have a pumpkin spice or two. But when it comes to the Christmas ones, I'm just so turned off. Normally, I would get the toasted white mocha or whatever they had. They don't even have it this year. What are y'all drinking? Okay, let's get started. I have the makeup remover on the ready. Totally already filmed this review and did not press play. So I do already have it on, but it was the day one Rouge Pure Couture, and this was in 1971. So I did already put it on. This was a sample size. You can see it in the stick. And like I said a while ago, to no absolutely nobody, uh, this has really no red, no pink. This is solely an orangey brown. It looks very neutral, very natural. I'm happy with it. It's very oily when you put it on. But right now, now that it's set, it doesn't even feel like I have anything on. It doesn't feel crusty. It doesn't feel really like I have anything on. I like the color a lot because I don't really like a lot of color. I like either a neutral or a mauve is typically what I choose myself. So this is a good one that I would like to wear. I did want to note that it is a little fragrant. It almost smells like a Cabbage Patch doll for all my 90s kids. This is going to be the first of many lips because if you remember from my unboxing, I swear half this advent calendar were lips and perfume. <laughs> for day two, they actually gave you an eyeliner and it is the old fashioned legit pencil which always freaks me out because like I said, I don't know, I have an irrational fear that I'm gonna get a splinter in my eyelid. I do have eyeliner on the top currently, which I could take it off, but I think what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just, I never wear bottom eyeliner because my eyes always water and ruin whatever I put. So I think I'm gonna put this to the test and put this on the bottom and then we'll see how does that wear with watery eyes by the end of this video are we going to get a ring which i'm not saying that that's bad because it's not claiming to be oh it is claiming to be waterproof it says waterproof eye pencil so you know what yeah let's put it to the test okay here we go Ooh, i like that it looks like i have a filter on i would love to find one that works because my eyes it's like they know when i put makeup on and they're like sprinklers on we're gonna come back to this one four was the lip where i was like i feel like i ran out of things and just put this in here and the reason why i say that is because this packaging looks more like a sample like this just this is just a sticker on it i know the glare is kind of killing the vibe but i don't know this just looks like a little toy a little sample i just wasn't impressed and look how small it is right and this was also the color that I was the least excited about because I just simply don't know who can rock this. It just feels like a little baby toy. Okay, is it about to prove me wrong? It smells delicious. Ooh. Hmm. I will say that their lip products are seemingly fragrant. 
This is rather bright. It's not as obnoxious as I thought it was going to be. It's actually pretty. I actually like it. Again, it's very oily. It feels like the oil on sticks almost. Also, this is making me notice how bad my actual makeup is. Before five, I'm actually, I'm only trying this on for you guys. I know exactly how this one wears. I had already had this one. Uh, so this is the Slim Stick in 21. I had actually purchased this in the LAX airport in duty free. So now I have two. So you can see the stick. It is in that diamond shape and to be honest, that's a little hard on like to be able to put pretty on your lips because your lips are round. It's rounded and rounded and it just doesn't typically work with this shape because I feel like the two sides of the diamond on the top are missing it and then you're having to go back over it in weird ways. That would be my one complaint, although it looks sexy in this tube. I think that 21 I think is the quintessential like sexy red, the Louboutin red bottom red. I love this uh, shape of tube. There's tons of product in here so I would recommend it. However, I think this is the most inconvenient shape for a lipstick that YSL has. So there are a couple of the pure shots in here which are more like skincare serums because I'm actually going to take off all of my makeup because I want to give you the best review. So all of those as I pass them in the days, I am going to keep until the end. You guys, look at my Starbase cup right now. <laughs> On to the next lippy. This time we have a full length. This is the same type of lipstick as number one. So it is the Rouge Pure Couture, the bold, but they decided to give me a full size on this day. How nice of them. Again, it is very fragrant. So again, if you don't like that, this bleeding is probably for me taking off like five lipsticks at this point. I look like Dracula. I think from far away, I like the color. I don't think from up close, I'm the biggest fan. It looks like a cheaper color, if that makes any sense. We finally made it to my absolute favorite. I think everyone should have an oil and stick from YSL, especially if you are a light makeup or a natural makeup look or a no makeup makeup look, I think that this one is the perfect one for you. I, you know, dabble in all their shades. I just think that this product is wonderful. So again, this is the oil in stick. Last time I checked, they were about $40. I haven't bought one in a long time, even though I absolutely love them. It's just because I'm lazy when it comes to buying lips. I believe this was the beige satin one. I got two and this one looks beigey, but they have little shimmers and I don't think it'll show up. And the packaging is just absolutely gorgeous. I think this would be a beautiful gift for anyone's stocking stuffer. Let's put it on. It just goes on oh, like butter. It's very minimalistic. I get that. It's basically like putting on fancy lip gloss, if I'm being honest but I think that it's worth it and it's oil on stick. So I feel like it's also hydrating your lips. I might be making that up, but that is how it feels. It just feels very minimal. It's not like no one would wanna not kiss you because you have this on you. For the next day, it is actually a little sample of mascara. This is not full size. And it says mascara volume effect full seals. So basically they're saying that it's gonna look like I have some fake eyelashes is what I'm reading. And the packaging is very minimal. Again, this is like one of the ones where I'm like, this looks just like a sample and you didn't try that hard, but nowhere on this does it say that it's waterproof. I do have mascara on my top eyelashes, so I am gonna use this on, well, I'll go over on the top, but just know that I do already have some mascara. I'll put it on the bottom because I don't typically do that because my eyes are watery. It seems basic to me. Even this is fragrance. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. You can see the wand isn't anything crazy. Tell, even tell a difference on my other side, in my opinion, no. I don't know. I think this one's just your run of the mill drugstore mascara. Okay, for our next lippy. And then this is another sample size. This looks like a crimson, maybe more of a berry red actually, now that I'm looking at it. I do like this applicator. This one is nice and easy. I like this. Okay, hold on. So this is another Rouge Pure Couture. One complaint that I have, and maybe it's only because it's these little sample sizes, it doesn't have the shade on the bottom. So in other words, I have to like hunt down the boxes. I think that this was 1966. I think I remembered it because that's my mom's birth year. I really like this color. And like I said, I think this is my favorite 
applicator. It was very easy to go on my cupid's bow. But I might have a correction where I said 21 is the quintessential sexy red lipstick. I think it might be 1966. So we actually have another mascara. It is the Lash Clash. So I do remember this wand being a little more substantial than the other one. Looks like it's about to like do something. Okay, I think that this will be able to tell the difference. Let's see, I did the other one on here, so I'm gonna make this one. This one looks like it'll go on thicker, but we will see. And again, I did already have some mascara on. I do see some volume difference. Which, that was my hypothesis when I was unboxing this, is this one looks more legit, more like it's meant to do something. If I was going to get a mascara out of my two, I would go with Lash Clash. So this oil and stick is called Nude Lingerie, and it's still gonna be a neutral. Uh, every time, I'm sorry, I can't. This one really looks like nothing. I still love it. It just gives you a little color, cause like, you know, when you don't have anything on, you just look a little dry, a little pale, a little crusty. But see on here when I'm taking it off, you can see the color and it really is just like a perfect little lip color. Okay, I have my last lip and that's another The Slim, but I think this one is a little darker. We have that same applicator. It looks sexy, but is it helpful? No, okay, I'm gonna give it another shot with the diamond. So we're gonna go down. All right, that was good. Now we're gonna go diagonal, diagonal. It's just barely funky. Okay. So we're gonna go here and here. It's just pointy, you know what I mean? Oh no, we got a clump. This is a very interesting color. Okay, so I actually have six skincare items. I don't remember there being that many, but I'm actually really excited because I prefer playing with skincare than makeup just because I'm not that great at makeup. I'm gonna take all my makeup off and then we're gonna review those six products. Wait, but before we do that, let's do an eyeliner check. For me, this is great. First one, I'm just gonna go in order of the days. This is a Pure Shot Hydra Bounce Lotion Essence. Honestly, minimal fragrance, especially since even their mascara had some fragrance. So I'm guessing this is just like a hydrating lotion. It kind of feels like fancy water and it just dissolves. So we have another Pure Shot. This one is the Night Reboot Serum, and it has Moonlight, Cactus Flower, and Glycolic Acid. I'm just going to squirt one on this side, one on this side, and we are going to gently rub it into my face. And this is Expert Maker Remover, dang it. Ah, I should have tried this. Let's use this on this dirty top eyelid. It's very, very oily and it like digs into the cotton pad. So yes, you see a lot and that's great, but I will say it makes the cotton pad really scratchy. It's not like when I use my micellar water and the cotton pad is super wet. I would say beware of that. We have another Pure Shot Eye Reboot Concentrate. Love that with these designer bags under my eyes. Okay, here we go. Right, and I'm just going to dab this under my eye to start off with. This one feels very hydrating, very creamy. Okay, our last pure shot, so it is a soft polish double essence. I'm actually gonna have to look up how to use this because I don't wanna use this on a part of my body that it is not meant for, so please hold for some research. This claims to slightly exfoliate, tighten pores, and repair skin, so we are good. I put a generous amount on. Ooh, that smells like candy, almost like Smarties or one of those types of candies that like legit just is sugar. I guess I didn't do a great job <laughs> removing makeup. The last item is one that I was the most excited for to see in here. It is the Or Rouge La Creme Essentielle and it just looked expensive, right? And I know that night creams are typically super, super freaking expensive. And in fact, I did just look up what a full size went for and it's $440. I'm going to enjoy all 0.23 fluid ounces that they give me. You open it up, it is a little orangey cream and I'm just gonna do a little bit because I'm not fully gonna get to enjoy it because it is nowhere near nighttime for me. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm just gonna feel like the bougiest girl in the world when I put this on at night, oh my gosh. This feels 
amazing. I have no way to tell you if it is worth $440. And the smell is better than other night creams that I have as far as the texture, it feels about the same, to be honest. And I would even say that my Neutrogena Hydro Boost feels lighter. Like this feels like, you know, you have like a lotion on your face, whereas that feels like almost like extensive water that like evaporates. But I like that because this does feel like I have sticky lotion. It's all in the results, right? But you need to be consistent. I don't know if I'll be consistent enough with this little tiny sample to actually tell a difference. Hopefully this was helpful. You got some stocking stuffer ideas. See you on tomorrow's Vlogmas.